Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Today we are going to head to Whole Foods to do some grocery shopping. I can't wait to show you how it's so different shopping here in New York City. It's gonna blow your mind. Let's go. There's something about you, something about you I like. All right, I'm standing here in the kitchen getting my list ready to go. I like to just use that um, like lists app in the iPhone. What I love about this is as I'm standing around cooking or like getting something out of the pantry and I notice that one of my ingredients is gonna be like gone soon, I can just use Siri. So I'll just like hold the side button down and be like, add apples to my grocery list and it will just add it. <laughs> so this is like a lazy slash efficient tip for you. Um, but anyway, so I am just like kind of getting my day started and I like to do that with collagen. I have been drinking collagen for nine months now, I think, but I've noticed a huge difference in my nails and my hair growth. I used to have like a lot less hair here. <laughs> and I apologize if you can hear Toaster. He is, uh, he's eating breakfast right now too. <laughs> but I have just started using this Bellway fiber and collagen. I love that this one has fiber and collagen because fiber and collagen are both super important um, for me to get every single day. Um, the fiber I find harder to get um, sometimes with breakfast. So I love that that's already included in here. And also if you are somebody who doesn't like drink coffee or a hot drink, you probably don't wanna use those like non-flavored collagen. It's really gross to put just non-flavored collagen into your drinks. So this one is super tasty. It is matcha lemon. So let me show you how I mix it up because it actually tastes really good. Super easy to make here. I'm just going to add Add a scoop, it is green, so don't be alarmed. Add a scoop into my water here, and then I just stir it up with a straw because I like to drink with a straw. I'm also gonna add some ice cubes because I like mine to be really, really cold. Did you know that almost no one, okay, this is not maybe a true fact, but it's really rare to have an ice maker here in New York City. Isn't that strange? So we have to have ice cube trays. So I'm gonna get that good and mixed up. Get it really mixed up because you don't want it to taste powdery. And I'm gonna add a couple ice cubes. That kind of helps with the mixing a little bit. But I will just drink this uh, once a day. I started out with just one scoop um, and then add it, go up to two scoops, but I've actually already drank some today. <laughs> so I didn't want to add too many scoops uh, while I'm doing this. Um, it's really nice and refreshing. Um, so if you haven't already um, tried collagen, I would definitely suggest giving it a try. There are several flavors on the Bellway um, website. It is uh, gluten-free and uh, it is not vegan, um, but it doesn't have like added sugars or anything like that, although it does taste really good. So this is lemon matcha. Um, and it actually kind of tastes like a lemonade. Actually, it tastes literally like lemon matcha. It tastes really, really good. If you'd like to try um, Bellway, you can use my code down below. It's NAT20 for 20% off. You also might find it in your local Target or on Amazon. Okay, I think I'm done with my list here. It's really, really long. We typically buy our groceries on Amazon Fresh and have them delivered, but We've been having a hard time getting some of our basic things lately, so we're gonna go in person, and it's a great opportunity to show you what the grocery stores actually look like here in New York City. Today, we're going to Whole Foods, so let's head on, walk. <laughs> let's head on and get our stuff and walk out the door. The Whole Foods we're headed to today is right in the middle of Manhattan on 42nd and 6th. That's 42nd Street and 6th Avenue. It's right by Bryant Park and just about a mile from our apartment. Whenever we go to the grocery store, we always bring our own bags because here in New York City, you are charged if you use a bag. I think it's about five cents per bag. So always bring your own bags. We usually bring a few of the just generic grocery bags. Sometimes if we're going further, like when we go to Costco, we'll bring a cooler bag. And Kent always brings his backpack for those heavy or fragile items. It's much easier to carry them on your back than on your shoulders.
Right now in New York City, we are in the midst of fall, but this day was unseasonably warm. I think it was almost 70 degrees on this day. It was super, super nice outside. I have been pleasantly surprised that so far, at least in the fall, I know we haven't hit winter yet. This is our first New York City winter. So far, we've had quite a few sunny days, almost as many sunny days as we have cloudy days. The weather has already turned cold, and now that it's the next day, it's in the 40s today. But we got to appreciate the nice weather while we can and get outside to walk at any opportunity, even if it's just going to the grocery store. Before we head into the store, we wanted to show you the Winter Village at Bryant Park. This is not what it looks like all year, but it is a beautiful park where there are events and restaurants and small little like food places. Um, there's always uh, chairs and tables. It's a lovely place to go. And right now they're doing the Winter Village, which I was so impressed with. There's food, there's shops, there's ice skating. We're definitely going to come back here and share more of it with you in a future video. Let's head inside Whole Foods. So what always surprises me with literally anything in New York City is that the outside never matches the inside. The outside of a restaurant, a store, might look really, really small, but what you don't realize is once you go inside, the place might be huge. So this is super different from suburbia where you drive by a massive Whole Foods or a massive Costco. Things are a little bit different here in the city. Most big shops are two stories or more, so we're gonna head right in and go straight up the escalator. Something that I had never seen before until we came to New York are these baskets on rollers, on wheels. So these are much actually much better for shopping at the grocery store or at Target. They have them in lots of different places because they're much smaller than an actual grocery cart. And you can pick them up when you need to go up and down the stairs or the escalator or squeeze by somebody. And they also help you not to buy too many items because if you can fit it in the basket, there's a good chance that you can also carry it the mile home. Another one of the major differences when you're shopping at a grocery store in New York City is finding the checkout. So you saw when we entered, we went up the escalator. That's not where the checkouts are. The checkouts are actually around the corner. There's two really small lines that go to the checkouts and you have to wait in line and then you go around to kind of this bay. So everyone waits in line and then when your side of the screen flashes, it'll say out loud to like aisle come to checkout counter eight for example and then you go to that checkout counter once we've checked out we bag all of our own groceries and we make sure that they're arranged so that it's really easy to carry them home thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed getting to see what it's like to shop at whole foods in new york city we're going to be doing more new york city videos so if you're interested make sure you have your notifications on and you're subscribed, maybe we'll take you into like a true New York City grocery store next time so you can see what that looks like because if you thought the aisles were small at Whole Foods, wait until you see the grocery stores. It's crazy. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. Something about you I love